In this video clip, I'm going to have a look at the Dumas Fleming Whaley uh, specifications for modeling implied volatility. Um, I'm going to have a look at equation 9 and I'm going to set it out here and uh, parameterize, try to parameterize A0, uh, A1, a2, and in this instance, k is the exercise, so k is the strike, and t is the time period. So these are the, the um, values that I'm going to set out. So um, i take this data again, copy, uh, paste special and this time I'm going to use values and um, I'll take the so I will insert let me see so we can take out this um, function here for implied volatility um, and maybe just create a little bit of space so insert And we'll copy the Dumas Fleming Whaley uh, model of implied volatility. Okay, so that's that. Now, um, what we would like to create then is set out a column for K. So let's just insert another right click insert okay so let's set out a k and k is equal to this value here and let's copy and pull that down and then we also have k squared so k to the power of 2, and that's equal to 90 simply to the power of 2, and we can take that down. And in addition, we will have uh, the time period. So t we will set out. Uh, T, so if I put in T, we can say is equal to 20, 56 divided by 365 days, 365 days, and we can pull that down, and then T squared t to the power of 2 is the same but squared and we can take that down so that value is quite small and we can take uh, kt this being the product of the exercise, so equal to the product, in other words, k multiplied by t. And again, we'll pull this down, we'll drag it down. Okay, then let's copy and paste and paste special values and we can freeze pane so we come across and we have in fact let's unfreeze pane and freeze pane here and I want to ru run a regression where I regress, in other words, I'm going to take this relationship 
and parameterize. Let's put it here. I'm going to parameterize a0, a1, a2, a3, a4. So uh, in order to do that, let's go equal to linest. Linest is the ordin Excel function for running an ordinary least squares regression. What's the y values? It's implied volatility. So let's take the y's as being implied volatility. What are the known x's? So comma. The known x's is this set of values here. So we have uh, five columns of data. And uh, we don't Yes, we want a constant because we specified an A0, so we'll say true. So T R U E and true again for statistics, although we probably don't need those. Control Alt uh, Shift Control Enter. We have one of the values. We are going to get uh, A0 to A5, so that's six parameters that we're going to estimate. So I go across seven cells and let's come down maybe as far as here and control alt control shift return and the parameters fill up and we have should have a zero A1, everything will be in reverse, A2, A3, A4, A5. Okay, so those are the parameter estimates. Uh, Linest, when you run the Linest estimation, what you typically find is the output generally generally refer uh, reverses the order of the variables so if this was if really if a a1 is on k and the order of the variables is k k squared t then we reverse that order so we get the constant last then a1 a2 a5 okay so how now do we look at the fit our model well to examine our model we just take uh, the parameters so so uh, fit iv fit and that will be equal to Let's put it here, A0, F4, plus A1, F4, multiplied by K, plus A2, F4, multiplied by K2, or K to the power of 2 plus a3 f4 multiplied by t plus a4 f4 multiplied by t squared plus a5 f4 f4 is used to lock the cell reference multiplied by kt and the fit here is 0 0.38. Let's pull that down. And we can think of, in other words, if we take this uh, cell here, it is basically, we take these parameter coefficients 
and we take the inputs of k, k squared, t, uh, t to the power of 2, and kt, and multiply respectively by, respectively by these parameter values. Okay, and then we can compare. Let's take, um, we can model now, let's take, for a particular time period, let's take this range of values, which corresponds to this range here, and we can take this range of values, which corresponds to this range here. Okay, and we can map the true implied volatility against the model fit. So we can say insert um, scatter and right click select data remove add and IV and true let's take the x values as being the different exercise prices and then the output is this implied volatility and then let's take uh, the model fit so let's say ok and then add IV fit, IV Dumas Fleming Whaley fit using their model specification. Again, the same set of exercise values and implied volatilities are implied volatility fit. And one tends to be quite smooth, and the other is as a model. Um, the blue here is uh, less dependent, on, it's not dependent on the model. So we can also format axis and set the minimum value at, let's see, at 50, maybe 60. So the minimum exercise value is 90, so let's say 80. And the maximum implied volatile uh, exercise was 150 so the maximum maximum 160 okay and so that's for 56 days um, select data edit 56 days Okay, so we can do that. So, in other words, this is the fit bottom for over 60, for the 56 day period. The red is the fit and the, from the mass Fleming Whaley, and the IV is the actual implied volatility that was estimated. Okay, in the next video clip, I'll set out how to construct the volatility surface.